Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Tashwita Gupta, your ACCA guide. So I'm sure all the commerce students from CBSE have received their results today. So do share the good news with us as well. Okay, so this video is for those who have done their 12th standard from the commerce background and are willing to know the ACCA course details for 2023. So let me just start with the basics. That if you have just qualified your 12th, whether good, bad, whatever is the score, let's forget that. The fact is, first enroll yourself into a good college. Don't do the mistake of taking it as a distance education. Don't go for a school of open learning or any distance education course for your colleges, for your BCom. Please do a regular BCom. That is very important. Now, apart from the BCom, BBA, whatever you're doing, you have some options, professional qualifications and every, literally every commerce student is always confused whether should I go for CA, CFA or ACCA. So if you are a commerce student, this channel is of wide importance to you because I keep on sharing productive videos on various qualifications, CPA, CFA, CMA and my own qualification that is ACCA. So without any further delay, let's get into the video and do the debrief of this ACCA qualification. First and the foremost thing, what is ACCA? ACCA is Association of Chartered Certified Accountants, which are globally recognized. When I say globally, that means you can be a chartered accountant. You can sign the financial statements of around 180 plus countries. I have made many videos explaining what is the scope of ACCA in UK, Canada and Dubai? And of course, this one is for India. So ACCA in India itself has a lot of importance as well. So whether you want to immigrate to the said countries or Australia, Canada, UK, USA, wherever you want to immigrate, it will act as a passport to you, a global passport to you because you know the global accounting language that is IFRS. So on that, a quick fun time that many students ask me ma'am aap hindi mein video kyun nahi banate i can make a video on hindi but this qualification is global and many students out there are watching us from around the globe so that's why i chose international language that is english for my youtube channel similarly acca chose ifrss that is global accounting language so all the accountants across the globe follow ifrss and that is what makes acca a very unique and globally accepted qualification. Then moving ahead, let's talk about what all modules are there within ACCA. Since you have done your 12th, you're already, you know, competent enough to go into ACCA and just ace it. Provided that you have 65 at least in your English maths or accounts. If you've not taken mathematics, you must have been having, you know, uh, accountancy. So there should be at least 65% in that subject rest 50 percent is okay so if you have these eligibility criteria you are good to go with acca now talking about the course content of acca so there are in total 13 exams okay so 13 exam means that first four papers are on demand that means if today i want to sit in one paper of out of those first four i can just you know book my exam with acca go and give that exam according to my schedule. Wow, isn't it great? So that's possible. Then later on from the fifth paper, that is your F5 till F9, now known as PM and FM. So from PM till FM, your skill level, you will have to give quarterly exams. That is after every three months, you are eligible to give the exams. You can give one exam, two exam. If you fail in one, that doesn't mean you have to give the other also. So there's no grouping system. It's very flexible. So I can give exam according to my own schedule, my own understanding, my own timetable, right? So that's a great flexibility that ACCA has given to you. Then you have your professional exam. So these skill level exams are combination of MCQs plus the theory questions. So that's, that's a little bit technique. So I'll, uh, I've made a lot of videos on these technical areas and I'll be making many soon but that is the technical bit. Therefore, what we have is four professional exams with, because we've already done MCQs in the knowledge level, in the skill level. 
now ECC believes that since you've got into the uh, professional level, now you're good to go with big case studies and, you know, giving answers to 50 mark question. That is one question for 50 mark. And SBL is such a paper where you have one case study for 100 marks. Isn't that crazy? So that's what makes it professional qualification. So your four exams are professional exams, which are purely case study based questions, theoretical, subjective, no MCQs. So 13 exams in total in the professional level, you have a choice. So out of four exams, you have to choose two optional papers. My personal choice was AFM and audit that is advanced audit and assurance. You can make your choice, but that's a later thing. Let's first focus on the knowledge level only. Now, once you have registered with ACCA, you have to pay certain fees. So let's talk about the fee structure. So once I register with ACCA, first I'll have to pay ACCA registration fee. It is not an exam fee. It's just being there in the register of the ACCA. I have to make certain payment in pounds that you can find in the description box. As I said, ACCA is a global qualification. So every country has different uh, fee structure. That's why I will put the link in the description box where you can calculate how much fees you'll have to pay for your country. So once you've paid that registration fee, given your certificates, got yourself registered with ACCA, which you can do yourself, you don't need anyone to do it. Yes, there are institutes, gold approved learning providers, platinum approved learning providers, which can give you certain discounts on that registration if you register through them. But they'll only allow you to register through them if you enroll into their subject tuition. So that's the catch. So if you can manage your fees yourself and you don't want to get into that, uh, you know, pond of getting stuck with an institute. So that's totally your choice, personal choice, right? So that's what happens with the fee structure. Then when I go about the exam fees, now I have to give my exam. What is the fee structure for that? So for every exam, if I talk in Indian rupees, every exam is around 10,000 Indian rupees. It is increasing from five to seven percent because of inflation. So that is the upcoming changes which are happening. So whenever you sit an exam, you have to pay that fees for each exam. If you fail, God forbids, if you fail that paper, that fees is your loss. That's why we always say be prepared before you give your exam. So that is about the fee structure. So now you can calculate 13 exams, 10,000. That means approximately in Indian rupees, it comes out to be 130. You added something to it. So it will be around 150, 160 total which you'll have to pay to ACCA that is the course fees you can complete it in two years I have personally done it in less than two years if you want if you give exams frequently with your BCom simultaneously you can complete this qualification and be corporate ready be employable by the end of your graduation so that's a very big uh, Pro tip that, okay, do it simultaneously. You, you don't have to choose whether I should go for BCom or ACCA. Both can be done together. Now, what is the benefit of doing ACCA? Well, when you qualify your BCom, when you graduate, what do you think? You want to get a job? Of course, you will get a job, a good paid job. You'll go there. You'll see that people sitting at your floor people sitting in your department, each one of them are pursuing some professional qualification or have already done that. So then your employer will put pressure on you, please do a professional qualification or else you'll not get the promotions. There will be so much difficulties. I've known so many BComs, MComs from such good colleges. And then they say we face difficulty because most of our colleagues are from some professional qualification. And of course, the company gives promotions to them, opportunities to them as opposed to us. So to avoid that situation from the very first day itself, make your mind and do a professional qualification together with your BCom. So by the end of your BCom, you have your bachelor's plus a professional qualification as reputed as ACCA through which you can directly enter into corporate. So if I give you the uh, salary package idea, see when you are doing your ACCA, you are required to do three years of work experience. Now, if you are having superpowers, you can do your internship, your college and your ACC altogether. I have known students, friends who've done this. If not, first you can do your ACC and then you can go for your paid work experience. Articleship training is needed in ACCA also. Okay, but 
what we can do is usually people first give their nine exams complete their skill level and then they move forward to the work experience now in that work experience guys it is okay if you have ca training any article ship there is no such stringent rules that this work experience has to be from this qualification manager only no such rules it can be from any field uh basically finance but not any in depth that this thing from the finance so it can be from any area in finance and you have to just prove that yes i have worked sign get it signed from your employer and you can claim your work experience so i've made a lot of videos on that also how can you claim your work experience now once you have done your work experience together with your qualification acca you will be job ready so during that work experience the stipend that you can get i'm talking about when you're not qualified you're just doing acca i personally got in a stipend of around 30000 per month when i was just qualified with my 10 acca exams so sorry if i'm disclosing it but yes that's that was my stipend but then later on when you qualify it the same firm offered me back in 2020 a salary package of around 7 lakhs per annum so that is also the starting salary it was way back in 2020 now the salaries have also increased so i have known students who got salaries of around packages of around 7 to 8 lakhs easily after their qualification so i hope that is good for you because with time you'll of course get huge perks and jumps in your salary package i have my friends who have done acc and now are in the positions of directors in one of the big fours so guys this qualification is going to help a lot and it's not that you know this doubt is there that what what should i do being in india should i go for ca or should i go for acca because accas can't sign the financial statements or audits of indian companies but that is not required i mean if you are working in an international firm they will have international clients you'll work in their back end support for the us offices for the uk offices or if you immigrate you can also work on the front end so basically that is not required that you should have signing authority in india because your clients are not indian so even if you qualify your acc you can do your own practice of uk clients i have done it you can do it for your uh, australian clients for your canadian clients if you convert your acc into cpa canada so there are a lot of options available because acc does not restrict you till india you are a global accountant so you have global market with you remember that so that is the scope of acc the advantages and you can work into any sector finance audit taxation you can work in consultancy so all the fields are open to you after you are an acc qualified so i hope i've covered almost everything about acc the course structure the eligibility the fees which you pay to acc not to the tuition providers and then i've covered with you what are the advantages of doing acc after your 12th standard so i hope this video helped if it did please do hit the like share and subscribe option and stay tuned on my channel because i keep on posting informative videos on various finance qualifications all the best and do share your results